All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate it. We're back at it with another build of FSD beta version 11.3.4. And shout out to the Tesla dev team. They're working overtime, weekly updates, week after week after week, trying to get this latest build to the masses. OK, and so here we are with another step in that in that direction in 11.3.4. And we've got some new improvements. Hopefully we keep some of the good things that were good with 11.3.1 and 11.3.3. 11.3.2 was pretty much a, a dud in my opinion in this particular area in our experience. But 11.3.1 and 11.3.3, keep some of the good, um, obviously keep all the good obviously, and basically uh, help improve some of the bad or the not so good. Okay, so that's what we're hoping for with this latest release. Um, if you're asking and, and trying to figure out, hey, did I get the latest version or if I do I have the latest version? This particular version is 2022 45.13. So if your car under the controls software tab has 2023, you will not be able to get this version. This is running on a branch that's older than the branch that your car is running software. And Tesla typically does not go backwards with their software updates. That's why it's called a software update. It updates your software from one version to the next version, the next sequential version. OK, so that's going to be a 2023 dot build. That's going to be the indicator of whether this is going to go wide to the masses. So, again, if you have a 2023, if your software version number says 2023, you will not get this version. All right. Um, you're going to wait to the, the release, the next release, maybe, maybe, ele maybe 11.3.5 or 11.3.4, excuse me, 11.4 proper, which could be a 2023 release. That's going to be the indicator that's going to go wide and you're going to get it in your car if you have not gotten any of these releases. If your car is on a release that says 2022, you may be able to get it depending on where you are and what your circumstances are. All right. So let's take it out for a drive. Let's do our quick drive. And this time I'm going to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to actually drive this route and I'm going to pull up. Uh, the best versions of 11.3 so far, 11.3.1 and 11.3.3 and have that run sort of head to head so we can see how much better or how much worse this particular build is. And give me your feedback in the comments whether you like this format or not. But let's take it for a spin and, and, and check it out. All right, guys, here we go. I'll activate. Coming up to the first turn. Let's see what it does. Creep limit is now visible a little bit earlier, but I see it's also starting to come to a stop sooner than the limit line, which is not great. Should come right to that limit line and take a stop like other builds. So that seems to be a little bit of a regression as it tries to m work out whether it can make it around this particular car. You see it start to be a little hesitant. That's also not a good sign, especially because we're on a little bit of an incline. Okay, has an opening and goes. Pretty good. I like the confidence coming out of the turn. And I bump it up to 30 like we normally do. And as I say every single time at this right moment in the video, but let's see. Coming up to our first right hand turn coming up here. Is it going to be confident? Is it going to get into the shoulder? Is it going to take it at a good speed? I'll have my foot hovering over the brake as normal. Gets into the shoulder, slows down, keep it above. Oh, well, look at this car. Car is impeding us because they're kind of going, trying to go around. Car's a little bit too wide than it needs to be, so it kind of messed us up here. So now the true apples to apples there, but that's okay. Real time traffic, real traffic conditions. Can't see around this corner, so it's kind of going hesitant and cautious here. Slowing down because a parked car and lots of cars are coming. So this is different traffic conditions than we normally do here. But it's a real it's the real world scenario. So I'm happy to see that. But also, again, just throws off the, the apples to apples comparison of the two different bills that you see on the screen. OK, so it handled it pretty well. Didn't ask me to take over or anything. Oh, uh, not great here. Oh, the debris and somebody actually went flying over there. So hopefully they weren't on FSD beta. So not great there. I'm going to flag that one. Um, not great. Did not a, not a good approach angle on that particular turn. Took it very awkwardly, went very wide, got a lot of debris as a result of it. And that uh, was not very smooth. Here's our unprotected left. Again, stopping a little bit before the actual limit line, then creeping out to the creep limit. And that momentary pause is kind of still there. Not the smoothest. I'm going to hit it. 
that momentary pause is still there. It needs to just commit. The first turn it made when we first made that right from the stop sign, um, it made a great commit to just go at the stop sign, even though it's trying to work out, trying to get around that car. So that was good. But this commit right here at the unprotected left is the most dangerous. And that's the one where it needs to really just commit and go and not hesitate when it gets out there. And also try to, as much as possible not to have that creep limit so far out there. Luckily, no cars were coming. So we're in a good space here. And again, didn't freak out. It didn't overreact. And it didn't put me in a situation where I had to take over immediately. So that was great. We're only going to do the first pass today. We're not going to do the, the second pass just because a lot of traffic is happening right now and we actually have to be somewhere. So I'm a little time constrained, but I wanted to get this one in, get this one up for you guys to take a look and see uh, a first pass. And as I mentioned in the previous uh, videos, 11.3 does things differently each time. So this is one pass on 11.3. I could do the same pass again. It, will, it might op operate and act differently, significantly differently than before so we're going to keep that in mind as well so we'll do a, maybe do a couple passes not this time but the next couple videos to see if anything's changed but more importantly here we're trying to compare and contrast how this is performing to the previous builds again some think that 11.3 was that one was the best some think that 3.3 was was better i i tend to think that 3.3 and 3.1 were very similar uh plus the addition of some of the highway controls that they modified signaling putting the uh, turn signal on for the merging of the lanes, things of that nature, and then handling scenarios like uh, traffic circles a little bit better with 11.3.3 that maybe wasn't the case with 11.3.1 and definitely wasn't the case with 11.3.2. But the FSD beta works differently depending on where you are, depending on your location, depending on your car configuration, all that good stuff. Ideally, it'll all work the same in all places with all cars, but right now we see variances in the different car configurations and the locations. Coming up to this light, we have to be in the right lane. It may put its signal on to get in the right lane. I'm okay with that. Here it goes, signal on. Gets into the right lane nice and smoothly, clears it so the person to the left can get past us. Great job there. And then coming up to the next light that we have coming up, we're going to be looking for the car to bias towards the center line and stay straight versus sort of wobbling back and forth or trying to go to the right side, which is typically a turning uh, lane for a lot of people who want to make that right turn. Just consistencies from previous good builds and losing some of the bad behavior from some of the past not so good builds. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, starting to bias towards the center line, which is the great behavior we're looking for. Now it just needs to stay the course and not waver. This car is over the line completely. Good job avoiding that. Very awkward. All right, so far so good. Looking looking like the previous builds, which is great. Great job identifying and slowing down for the pedestrian running across the street. And coming up to our final turn, Hopefully we don't get caught at the train track this time of day. A little awkward there. Autopilot veered unexpectedly, potentially into oncoming traffic. Definitely not good. Took control. So I don't know what happened there. I don't know what, what caused it to, to react that way. But coming up to our final turn, getting over, slowing down nicely, turn signal on. Nice smooth turn. Okay, so that's still there. That, that behavior is still there. That's good. But also the unexpected behavior of it trying to veer off or trying to maneuver around something. It wasn't going to go over the lane. I saw the path planner. It just swerved, but there was a big truck coming. So obviously I react. All right. So that completes our path. That's 11.3.4. Uh, so far, uh, not the best. 
Uh, not the best, but there's hope. Uh, there is hope that doing it again could yield better results. So right now, not the greatest uh, result here uh, for our first path. Uh, intense, tra not intense traffic, moderate traffic, moderate to high traffic. Um, you know, not blare blaring sunny conditions, uh, similar conditions to what we've driven before on the same path. And as you see with the heads, with the heads up there of seeing the 11.3.1, 11.3.3, similar conditions. So I'm not sure what happened. I don't, I'm not sure what threw it off. I'll have to look at the footage again, but let me know what you thought, uh, what you thought about this build, what you thought about uh, Tesla's ability to roll these, these out very quickly, very fast, week after week after week, which I know is a, a Herculean effort for the development team. So again, shout out to them. But let me know your thoughts in the video. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.